this is update number three to my Minecraft pyramid. Um, so as you can see, there's a little bit more buildup um, in front of my pyramid, which you can see in the background there. Um, so as I am pulling on in to uh, my little dock I have built, um, I will show you kind of the front area. Um, so this is just kind of a general plaza area. Um, uh, as you can see, this is the door that I've shown before. Um, I added a little, or I changed it a little bit. I added the button over here, which actually closes. Um, and then a button here, which actually opens. Um, previously it was over there. Um, so yeah, I'll show you this part, which, um, as you may recognize, kind of looks familiar to the tomb of Ramses II, um, in Egypt, uh, where there's kind of four... Um, Egyptian dudes um, sitting down um, guarding the entrance to his tomb in the side of a cliff. Um, so I've added this button here, which opens up this little secret doorway. Um, and if I come down, we have a button that closes it, um, a button that opens it. And I haven't really done anything with that, I've just built it. Um, and then a button up here that closes it as well. That is one of the things I've updated, so just get another quick glimpse of Tomb of Ramses II, Minecraft Edition. Um, there it is. Um, and then I've added over here, you can see it kind of right here, this kind of looks like a, um, a Greek pillar structure, but it's actually Egyptian architecture as well. Um, the Greeks, Alexander II actually uh, took over, um, invaded Egypt, and they kind of have similar architecture with the pillars. These are supposed to be actually round pillars, not square pillars, but um, you can't really make a circle uh, cylindrical pillars without it being massive. So I just decided to do a one by one. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of another Egyptian architecture piece that's found in many temples. And then finally, the last thing I've added in the outside um, is this. And I actually uh, found a picture online of it's called the Temple of Edfu, I believe. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's E-D-F-U. Um, and I'll probably put the link in the description of the picture I found. Uh, I found. But uh, I think it looks pretty uh, pretty accurate to the picture I saw. Um, you can be the judge of that. But that's also a very uh, common... Um, something common architecture piece you'd see in Egyptian um, architecture back then. Um, this kind of little temple format with like the staggering uh, rooftop going up top like that so I've added those are the three things I've added outside um, now to go inside to the part you probably all been waiting for um, I kinda hyped it up last time and I don't think it lets it'll let you down I think it's actually pretty cool so as you remember the uh, button lock over there that I've shown before and I kinda just brightened up this area, added some pictures, um, as you can see. Um, everyone should remember the door here. Um, I won't go back over and show you that, um, but just kind of showing if anyone else hasn't seen it before. The trap door here, um, I've added in, I can show you this, I'm not completely done with it yet, but uh, um, this is going to be two more rooms over here. Um, and this is a clock system that I've built um, um, with this little hallway over here. So I'll show you the hallway, but that's the clock right there. Um, and so the hallway is actually this. And so it's a series of walls pushing in. So you have, like, on this block right here, you would have these two rising up and these two going down. And then over here, you would have these two coming inwards and with those two coming inwards as well. Um, and so that's just repeated four times. And so I'll quick run through. And I'm on peaceful, so my health regens. Uh, but you would lose a couple health going through there. Um, and as you can see, if you look closely, these two blocks right here, I don't know why um, they don't move these top two ones. Um, I'll show you the clock system. It doesn't really make any sense why they don't. Um, so it's this trail right here coming up, and then it connects to here. As you can see, the redstone wiring is attached to the block, but the block just doesn't move. The bottom one moves, as you can see here. Um, the bottom one is moving, but the top one isn't. I mean, it moves like right, you just saw right there. It moves every once in a while, but it doesn't, 
this game every time. I don't understand. And I've added in a redstone repeater, and then it just like completely throws the entire this part system off and it doesn't go on beat at all. So I don't really understand why it's not moving. Um, I haven't figured it out yet. I'm working on it, but um, just to kind of show you off, right, show it off right now. It's that's that's the system I have right now with the clock here. So um, this is a pretty. This is actually one of the quicker clocks that you can build. Um, so I have one the up and down um, blocks going off to this side, and then the left and right blocks going off to this side of the clock. Um, so that's how the alternating, um, alternating like that. So now to show off the vault, which I'm sure you're all uh, dying to see. So the vault, um, and I actually think it turned out pretty good. So we'll glide down in the minecart. Uh, this is this the same door that you saw with the rooftop access. And so we get to this area and we see five pillars or five um, levers, levers, as you see right there. Um, and then this pool of lava with some artwork and some buttons over there. Um, so how do we get over there is the question, um, as you can gawk at the lava up there. Um, I, I think it looks pretty sweet. So. Um, clearly this button has to do something, so I'll hit it, and nothing, nothing happened at all. So I'll hit it again, nothing. So clearly these uh, levers have to do something, so um, you need to actually turn the levers on in the right, the right um, combination to open it. So I just did a random combination there and nothing happened. Um, so now I'll put the right combination in, which is this one, this one, that one, and that one. So now I want to hit this a bridge extends through the lava and then while I'm over here I'll reset oops it's going this way I'll reset the combination so if anyone else comes down they won't be able to get across um, and I'll go across the bridge and then hit this button over here to lower the bridge and then as you can see the lava perfectly clears it back up um, leaving no trace that the bridge was there at all um, so now that we're on this side of the vault um, we see these buttons and I'm hitting them and nothing's happening you can kind of hear doors opening and closing um, but you don't see any doors so I'm gonna hit this one and then go through here and you actually walk straight through the painting uh, the door open which allows you to walk straight through the painting and it's kind of like a little glitch um, you wouldn't really call it a glitch but uh, the painting kind of sees the door as a wall so that's how it stays open um, and then when you open up the door, you have you have to make sure the door um, is on that side of the wall, though. It can't be on this edge, otherwise it won't work. Um, but yeah, so once the door is open, then you can just uh, go on straight through. Um, so then I hit this one, I can walk through here. And this is a, like another bedroom area that I created. Um, so we got some bookshelves in the corners, some uh, giant paintings with lava um, as the light on the floor, the walls, and the ceiling, and then a pretty sweet bed that's actually like in the ground. Um, and then some treasure ch or some chests uh, that don't have anything in them yet. I don't even know if I'll put anything in them, but... Um, so this final button right here actually opens this door, and I was way too late on that. Um, and so now we see elevator, and so what actually this is, is an elevator. So I'll hit the button right here. You can kind of see what happens. So as you can see, the pistons, these push out and then up. And these are not sticky pistons. These are regular pistons, and in behind them are sticky pistons. So you have a sticky piston pushing this one out, and then that piston going up is kind of what, what it looks like. I'll probably make a tutorial on how to make all this stuff um, in another video, but I'm just showing it off right now. So then you hit the button, and you fly it up. And so you can see that took probably uh, two seconds to get up and that's I think about 20 some blocks um, upwards maybe even more 20 to 30 blocks probably um, so it's pretty quick to get up much quicker than a ladder um, and then I added this which is a drop that's actually the roof uh, the roof room and then you can just drop on through land in the water and then come out through here um, and then this button push it and open this and now we're back in the main area. So that's what I've added so far. Actually, we'll go on up and show you that drop um, from the roof too. Um, so check back next video. Um, I'll probably have some more things shown outside. Um, and then also 
I'll have that. Hopefully, I'll have that. Uh, hopefully, I'll have that. Uh, um, um, the the hallway with the doors. I'll have that fixed and more added to that too. So, thanks for watching. Um, check back later.